Hey everyone, it's Flasher, and today I have a really special video for you guys. As a lot of you may know, Valorant is one of the most popular first-person shooter games in all of the world. Unfortunately, CS2 has not been doing too hot lately because of the cheaters and just the general state of the game. But something interesting has finally come along. This creator, who I'll link down below, actually was able to recreate one of the most popular Valorant maps, Haven, for Counter-Strike 2. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, this is really cool, especially considering that Haven was one of my favorite maps on Valorant. And and the reason why is because I hit this absolute beautiful ace that I definitely need to show off. So watch this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Grab the up, grab the up. So as you can probably tell, I myself used to love Valorant. I originally started playing CSGO, then when Valorant came out, I was in love with that game. But because of the constant nerfs on my favorite character, <clears throat> Sky, well, I just stopped playing. But I've been grinding CS2 and I am absolutely in love. And I hope that eventually Valve starts putting out updates and puts this game in a great place so it can compete with Valorant. But enough about that. As I said, this creator recreated Haven for Counter-Strike 2 and today I'll be playing it on Counter-Strike 2. I'll be walking around the maps showing you what's different, what's the same, and for those unfamiliar, with Haven from Valorant, it's one of the most interesting maps. It was actually the first three bomb site map that I ever played on a first person shooter. And I hope that there is eventually a map for Counter-Strike 2 just like it, because honestly, the dynamics were very interesting. But enough talking for me, let's get right into the game. So we're just gonna go into workshop maps and we see Haven reimagined. And I'm just gonna go ahead and load it and play it on my own because honestly, it's terrible to set up a custom server in this game. It's actually so bad. So, I mean, I also don't have friends, so let's just play on my own. All right, so we're gonna go and load a custom game. And by the way, if anyone ever wants to play with me, maybe we could set up a lobby if anyone knows how. Just join my Discord, the link is in the description and we can set it up for sure. And then I'll post a video of playing an actual match and see if it feels the same way as it did on Valorant. So let's just start on the Terra side and see what happens. So we're in the game, it's the prep phase. So I'm assuming it's the buy phase. So let me just buy something real quick. Let's buy a P250 and a flash. Uh, can we sell? Ah, oh, nice. Like Valorant. We can sell. All right. And then we're going to try to go to the A site. And I can't. Interesting. So there's no blue barriers. So this is really good. This is accurate. I see three, two, one. I'm assuming the barriers are about to go up. Perfect. So the barriers go up. So that's really cool. I mean, that's extremely accurate to Valorant. Everyone knows when you wait for the blue barriers to go up and you just jump on each other's head. Unfortunately, my teammates are all in this corner and they are actual Valorant players, actual bots. So that's very accurate indeed. So let's let's check out T-Spawn. I kind of missed it. Um, to me, much bigger than regular Haven, but much nicer. But yeah, it's a bit too big for me. I don't know. It just feels weird. I remember in Haven, it wasn't this big, but pretty accurate. So let's start off. This is A site. I assume B's in the middle and then C is all the way on the left. I don't know what these Valorant players are doing. Let's go right into A Lobby. So first impressions, A Lobby, super accurate. I love this box. This is one of my favorite boxes to peek into long. I know a lot of jet players like to hide up here and catch rotators. So that's really cool. And let's go into A Long. A Long, you have these two cubbies. Yep, super accurate. I mean, I really like the details. Like he went above and beyond in creating this. I mean, the details are so nice in this map. And then Long, the first thing I notice about Long, it's just, it's so wide. I mean, it's so wide. Yeah, the first thing I notice is really how wide Long is. It actually is so nice. It's so accurate, but just different. Everyone knows on Haven, for Valorant. Long was extremely tight, I felt. It didn't feel as wide as this, but I like this change. I really like this change, and I hope, I hope they could do this in Valorant, because I really like this. Long cubby. A lot of players like to go here and hold heaven, or go in this cubby and jiggle heaven, so this is really accurate. I mean, even the way it kind of curves, right? There's a little curve. I don't know if a lot of you notice it when you play Valorant, but there's a little curve in this corner, and it's extremely accurate, so good on for the creator. This little cubby to the right is there. A lot of players like to hide here. We have A-Sight. A-Sight looks really good. I mean, some boulders here. What's whatever? This is a truck over here, I I guess under heaven yep this feels pretty accurate a little smaller but i don't know like i don't know the differences in the pov between valorant cs2 so might not be too different you know i'm just gonna go into i'm gonna go into heaven uh, i love heaven this is one of my favorite positions i would always post up with an op here so this is extremely accurate before we continue let's go check out short quickly so yeah all these cubbies i mean extremely accurate i it's, this is giving me throwbacks to when i used to play valorant all these little angles that people used to play right here one of the most annoying corners right you know all the shotgun players would just hide in this corner and then blast you as soon as 
as you turn. All right, so short looks really good. I mean, it kind of reminded me of Ancient from Counter-Strike 2, if any of you have played Ancient. The map is very similar in design to uh, this recreation, at least in the textures and the trees and greenery. We should be going down the stairs now, and then it should bring us to C-Link and CT Spawn. And yeah, as you can see, CT Spawn, wow, it looks really small. I don't know if anyone remembers, but for some reason, this feels really small compared to Haven Valorant. I remember CT Spawn being bigger and there was like some rods of rocks everywhere. So compared to T-Spawn, which looks really big, uh, CT Spawn feels very small. I don't know if it's different. To me, it feels small. I like this, these little details here, the teddy bear. Anyone knows that I think there's actually teddy bears scattered around Haven. So this is really cool to see that he appreciated the details and put teddy bears. So let's go into B-Link. We're gonna go through B-Link. Yep, this is extremely accurate. Uh, B, all right, thank you. I really like these these letters. Uh, I believe these letters are also in Valorant. I don't know if they're in the exact positions, but I know Valorant lays it out where the sites are. And we're into the mid site, the mid B site. So this is really cool, actually. The back site is extremely accurate, right? This wooden plank, uh, the little drawings on it. This angle, one of the most common angles for players playing B. They like to jiggle back here. So it's a really good angle and feels like it. I mean, I feel like if I, if I was playing with friends, I could just jiggle this angle and get a lot of kills when uh, they try to take B. And then obviously we have the top of the crates, uh, the top of the box here a really good reimagining compared to valorant obviously he didn't use a futuristic box and all these things this looks just as good right he's following the ancient theme the classic rocks and it's probably way harder to get up here on uh, cs2 because you have to boost your teammates you can't you don't have any abilities to jet dash up but once you're up it seems like you can just do a simple jump to these boxes here where uh, i know a lot of players like to play up here it's a really really good position that's hard to clear and so I'm glad that's still in this recreation. So I see mid over here, mid window. We'll save that for last. Let's go into a link and let's explore the A site. And what is this? Okay, interesting. Some dragons, some nice details. You know, we always appreciate that. So we have C site. All right, so we have the C site, the final site. We have these two crates stacked. Uh, I know this is another common angle that a lot of Valorant players... Whoa. What was I on there? A lot of Valorant players love this position, especially with an op. You can get a really nice angle and, and you're good for one and then you dash away. You have logs over here. This is really cool to see. Like, I wish I could play... I don't know. I, I want to play Valorant looking at this map, but I want to play Valorant with CS2 mechanics, right? Like, imagine I had a jet dash or like a sky flash. Anyways... <laughs> Um, so we have back site, plat. I like the little blue hints, just like the real plat from Valorant Haven. Site looks accurate, the lines look good. This little box here, you can get boosted up. All right, so we're gonna go through connector into garage. One of the most annoying positions to take is garage, right? Especially on the T side, or even holding it on the CT, depending how good your enemies are, you know. But this looks really good. I like this little detail where you can see the sky and garage. The doors, well, it feels a little bigger. I feel like it's a little tighter to get in here in Valorant, but in CS2, I feel like I could fit too. Maybe the CS2 players are on a, the models are on a bit of a diet. So uh, garage looks really accurate going into garage if you're going to hold garage as a CT. I really like this. I like the lighting in here. Looks really clean. We're going to continue into mid. So mid, yeah, mid is perfect. This cubby, one of the most common positions as well in this cubby. It's a really, really strong position. And yeah, you have this little area here, left window. I don't know. Uh, if someone leave a comment what this position is called because I don't, honestly don't remember. But this is really accurate one to one just uh, as everything has been so far. So really, really good job. And mid window, again, it's like it's kind of reminding me of the garage window with the lighting so this is really nice everything feels really good honestly the map is so well recreated almost one-to-one -one. the only differences would have to be the size of some things and i don't know if that has to do with my pov my model size um i'm not sure but bottom mid yeah this is really nice oh this is so well made and then finally we're just gonna go up to C Lobby, C Long, some nice details here. Sponsored by Kick. I mean, that looks like the Kick logo. <laughs> this cubby over here, really nice. And we should end off with C Long. Yeah. So C Long, one of the famous places to rush on Haven. If you've ever played it before, you know rushing C through Long is one of the best things to do. And yeah, you have the cubby. And honestly, it's just this is so nice. Everything is so well made. The little details are there. Like that's what I like. That's what I have to appreciate here. He obviously put a lot of time and thought and effort into this. So I'm gonna be linking his YouTube and his map in the description definitely check it out all right so we're done with the tour of the recreation of haven for counter-strike 2 so what's going to follow up is you're going to see some comparisons of one of the most common areas for haven in valorant and i'm going to compare it to this new map so i hope you enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to play a game on this map with me join my discord and let me know and we can hopefully set something up thanks for watching guys
Thank you.